Yo, what's up guys, welcome back next match, Crossband List Cup finally started off with top 16 playoffs. Our first match here on the bottom part, as you know, a deck is allowed to lose once, it will just move on to the left side, or on the left side of the bracket, the loser's bracket, but like always, again, the deck that loses once could still win the entire thing. So, next matchup, we have two decks from a very similar age, pretty much COVID age, 2020, both deck list, I guess, again, from the deck, you know, from the year 2020, so both decks have access to pretty much the same, you know, card pool, uh, pretty much the same side of cards, blowout cards, looking at Nibiru, Lightning Storm, evenly matched here in case of Dinosaurs, Dinosaur deck also has access to Dark Ruler, no more main deck, plus Mystic Mind in the main deck. That could, could be very important, you will be seeing it within the next couple of moments, while on the other end with Edemancipators, again Prime, Edemancipators, not the Buster Lock, but again like such a strong deck as well, with those a lot of going, uh, at least going second, or strong cards going second. Looking at Dark Ruler Droplet, for example. So, you know, uh, Twin Twisters is there or are there for um, a potential art for Mystic Mind. So, Elements of Bader goes first. And the thing is, is that, um, you know, Dinosaurs is a deck that wants to go second. So, you know, who knows, maybe post side decking, but I still think the deck always wants to go second. And we could capitalize on that. So, I get Ashed. Um, this was an important Ash, but I think I somewhat got lucky with Talents. I think I drew two. Did I draw into Block Dragon? I think so. And that was kind of important, so I can, you know, go for Seeker, what is it, um, Block Dragon again being live, so I can go for an Appalooza. I think already Ruen for Helki, or am I going for Helki now? That could kind of make sense. I didn't see Link Cross. Okay, yeah, indeed, I didn't see Link Cross, so that kind of makes sense. You go for Link Cross for one token, and it opens up the Marcher play we know by now. Mascarina, Marcher, because I needed some space, and of course, O-Line is going to give me level 3 token. And uh, what is it, Reptite? Reptite is now a level uh, 6 tuner, so hopefully hitting Doki Doki, um, or they used Block Dragon, so hitting the Doki was definitely nice to go for that level 8 Synchro play. Well, then again, I mean, here this could have been my level 8 Synchro play, but the thing is, is that I think that the uh, Dinosaur deck is me making Dark Ruler, right? Uh, so Dweller is one of those cards that uh, is a super blowout against a card like Dark Ruler. Uh, then again, Ruler, <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> is going to negate or, or could, could negate the entire field except of course dweller so dweller against dinosaurs is superb prevents the babies from searching prevents i guess the deck from establishing its board and without imper and of course the mascarina play there is nothing that i could potentially negate a, a, a conductor right like even though dweller was active a potential conductor would have teared through the entire board, but again, like, with Blood Dragon in Graveyard, you have so many follow-up plays, and of course, talent in hand. Like, like next turn, I I'm just going for a game with Access Code Talker, right? Like, what happens here, you can just go for Access Code Talker and go for game. So, game number two, and I go first. Um, that was kind of expected. Thing is, is that did I side tech in my uh, pointers? I can't remember. So I'm like, okay, well, we have to take into account a lot of those going second cards, looking at evenly matched, looking at Dark Ruler, and I think I just have to go for the same series of plays. Um, if you know, if I have the opportunity and and on Dweller again, again Dweller because it's so strong against a potential Dark Ruler, I do get um, Impert. Um, I guess this kind of forces out the Herald, right? So that kind of makes sense. I already have like the Quackimeru Guardian for a potential nip. So I was like, yeah, let's just, uh, you know, like Tribute Herald. It's very similar or different uh, compared to Droplet, right? You can't use Droplet with Herald on field, right? If you discard mon ah, if you discard monsters, right? Um, but yeah, you know what I mean, right? With that situation. So Analyzer, I think I, think I co um, connect with the level 4 that searches Guardian from the deck, so I can just establish it pretty much the same board. Appalooza is eventually going to hit the... F oh, now I see. Yeah, I think the biggest difference compared to game number one here is, is that I do have an Imperm. So let's say during the battle phase, I think I can eventually go for Dweller, yeah. So Savage for an, for an extra Omnication, go for Block Dragon, Mascarina play for their turn and go for Dweller. Yeah, that's that strong, that's super strong. So in case of Dark Ruler here, um, all the monster effects are in front, you know, from Graveyard are still negated, so no misc in graveyard, no babies, that's important. And kind of prevents dinosaurs from establishing their board even further. Thing though is that, ah, this is a situation I've talked about before. Sure, you could, you, you could go for Conductor, but um, there is no Conductor. I mean, you could have, oh, main phase 2. 
I mean, I don't think it matters. Imagine you, you, you know, you use conduct or special summon conductor. You're not, you're not using its effect um, because you want to keep the baby for next turn. You're probably just going to attack over every monster on my side of the field if you have the opportunity. But you know, I can just imperm during the battle phase, right? So only one attack in case of conductor. So I don't think it would have mattered in the long run. But um, again, like imperm, that's the thing, right? It feels like even though both decks are from a very similar age, pretty much from the same age. Covid area or Covid, uh, um, you know, situation is very awkward situation because again, no ban lists, no tournaments in real life. Um, it, it kind of feels that that Emancipators does have the advantage over the you know dinosaur deck. Uh, Gannas, Gannas is going. These are going to be important. You will be seeing it within the next couple of moments. So another extravagance, and it gives the dinosaur deck the I guess the necessary pieces. But the Gamma just says no. Gamma is such a powerful hand trap. Probably just the best hand trap in the game at this point. It also destroys the monster, so you know, that, that kind of prevents me from establishing Helki. And my hand wasn't the best as well. Is, is this game? I'm not so sure. Petite Special Summons uh, Giant, I guess. Yeah, Giant Rex. You can go for Link Rebo. This gives you, indeed, a non-dinosaur. Okay, like, yeah, and, and Conductor hits the field. So this is not game. Uh, the thing is, is that... Like, look at that hand with Conductor on field. You have Lagia for a negation, you know, spell and negation or uh, some negation. Plus Ash in hand and potential Dark Ruler for next turn. I'm not going to win this one. Over the search, I guess Misk for more protection if it comes up, if, if it comes up, but nope. So again, number four, and now I have the advantage of going second. And I, I think I side deck droplets, twin twisters for Mystic Mine. Mine is there. Uh, Dark Ruler and more and more. So, uh, and again, pretty much is the same as, as previous turn. Now I'm able to go for Gamma, prevent the Misk from triggering, and that's kind of huge because this now prevents at least Missing Mine is active. And I was like, okay, let's try maybe to force out stuff. Imperm is activated, so I was like, okay, maybe I can just pass with Droplet set. I should be ready to go, right? I, see, I should be relatively safe, especially because, again, I don't think there is a dinosaur, but imagine Tom, ah, Tom Deck Misk, yeah. In case of Top Deck Misk, I probably... Because again, there is no dinosaur, you're probably forced to use Misk first. I could chain Droplet and, you know, negate Ovi, because we know there's a baby in hand and one unknown card. So, it's an if-if-if situation. But here, long story short, I think... Yes, I mean, we see now, okay, Gamma is dropped. And I think, do we know the hands? No, we know the baby, yeah, yeah, there's one unknown card. So I was like, I, this was my only series or line of plays. So go for the classic Helgi Fibrex play, go for... This should be game, no? I can go for Reptite, uh, Mill, or try to, you know, get lucky. Already have the Weeping Doll, I believe it is, on my side of the field. So that's already a level 8 Synchro play for Boral Savage. And uh, I'm probably just, yeah, indeed, just going to search uh, Block Dragon, and this should be an access code OTK. So again, the iffy one, we saw Gamma being super crucial here in both both turns, here in uh, duel number four. But I think, again, as I mentioned before, I feel that looking at both lists and how the matchups went, I feel that Animal Spaders had like the advantage over this one, over dinosaurs as a whole, right? And Mystic Mine. Even though it was only a one-off here in this particular list, I mean, um, I'm not so sure about mine. Uh, okay, the Twin Twisters are there, right? Still. So, okay. Um, Animancipator's right side, the Dinosaur's left side. Next matchup. This is a cool one. Uh, three Axis Fire Fist, a decklist from uh, 2013. It's going to take on one of the Prime decks back in 2015, and that's Clone Blade. So feel free to leave your predictions. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a corner like if you enjoyed the video. Leave me out. Peace.